welcome to my court, outsider. Since you entered my domain, I have watched your actions with a keen interest. You have been generous with my people and more patient than I expected. But I still cannot gather one thing. Why have you come? Hmm. Again, not what I expected. I think I've heard of this old Mary Dominion, but I don't see how inclusion in this group would appeal to me or to the people in my domain. Aligning with you would only alienate us from others. Interesting. You think we have common enemies? My only enemies are those who would seek to harm Balenwood. Let us test your theory, though. Show me one of these enemies of whom you speak, so I might better understand. Use the other stone pillar, the one on the platform behind us. Touch that stone pillar and an apparition will appear. One of your enemies, as you say. Fight this enemy so that I might see its true nature. I am pleased to be able to lend you strength to face this enemy from your past. I sense the darkness in the heart of the one you fought, but he has already been defeated, has he not? And those like him, they may not all share his darkness. You should have me call these people enemies, though. The Veiled Heritance. Yes, I am familiar with this distinction as well. There is one among this group who has come to Valenwood to see me, and I find her curious. Very curious. I'm not inclined to consider her an enemy. She is one who has been blessed with fascinating gifts. Gifts I cannot afford to ignore. You would know her identity, though. I was able to capture one of her memories. Touch the petition stone again, and I will share it with you. Much need of someone like you, Aranai. Yes, young one. We have a problem in the Valen Wood that will require your talent specifically. I... I would be honored to help however I can. An opportunity has arisen to strike a devastating blow to the Dominion. To divide the Bosma. The Bosma in Greenshade claim allegiance not to King Camoran, but to a man they call the Wilder King. Killing this Wilder King will drive the Bosma mad. He is very elusive, though, so I will need your help to find him. You realize we are entrusting you with an important task, I hope, my dear. Of course, Lady Estri, you can count on me. As you've just seen, the young girl Aranias is associated with the Veiled Heritance. Until I know more about her, I hesitate to call her an enemy. I will have more insight soon, though. Even now, Aranias is on her way to my throne. So she believes. But there may be a greater truth to her purpose here. You may not like this, but I sense the same is true of you. Like the branches of a grottoke, 
I believe that Aranias' destiny, my destiny, and your destiny are all intertwined. I cannot yet see how these events will play out, but I do know that like Aranias, you must come deeper into the forest. You must eventually come to my throne, but not yet. Each of us is a strand to be spun into the story of Valingwood. You should seek out the spinner, Marowen. He can tell us how this story began and where it should end. Yes, traveling through Valenwood is a funny thing. It may take them many days to find the path to my throne. You have all the time you need. Find the spinner's cottage and speak to Marowen. Safe journeys, my friend. I was beginning to think you wouldn't make it. I've already begun Aranias' story. Yes, of course. I have been waiting for you for some time. The story needs you to play a part in the present and in the past. You certainly took your time about things. Not your fault, I understand. Not your fault. We may yet get this right. Inside the story, you must also enter the story in order to help her. Aranias wants to see the Wilder King. I'm his gatekeeper. To see him, you ask me nicely, and then I tell you a story. A story that you take part in. Yes, the story is one from her own past, but she's convinced that she's living through these events for the first time. You'll play the part of the close friend she never had. Someone she can trust, who can change the person Aranias becomes. Ask nicely. Of course. Now, sit down by the fireplace. Imagine there's a nice, warm fire burning there, and I'll set the scene. Have a seat by the fire, and let me know when you're ready to hear the story. Remember, ask nicely. Imagine the flames are the waves of a vast ocean. Cold waves on a clear blue ocean off the coast of Somerset. Now picture an island. Trees around the island shimmer in the sunlight. Each gently cresting ocean wave sparkles. Many stones, roots and flowers on the island were shaped by Magicka. Only two living Ultma possess such power. 
One of those two Ultmas stands outside the manor on this island. Her island. Go to her. Become her friend. The island of Silitar. I'm so glad you could come. My parents will be back tonight, and I was afraid I'd have to face them alone again. That's why I asked you to come early. I'm not sure what will happen either. Before they get back, I want to be carefree. We can visit some of our favorite places together. They were afraid, like everyone else. After I raised up the land under the sea and smashed that ship, even though nobody got hurt, they said my magic was too dangerous. You're the only one who isn't afraid of me. You're not afraid, right? You don't know what this means to me. Now, what will we do first? I know, let's race to the lighthouse like we did when we were little. Bet you still can't catch me. Not bad. You're pretty fast. Maybe. You know, I've always had a special connection to the land. Sometimes things happen and I don't even think about it. It just happens. I'm sorry, it just... happened. Wait, something's wrong. Can you feel that? The land's in pain, burning hot. Look, the farm's burning! Over the rise... Wait. Too many footsteps, and it's too early for my parents' return. Boots. Boots. There are invaders on Silitar. We have to stop them.
They can't do this. We've got to get rid of them. No one attacks my island. What have they done to my farm? Why would they do this? Animals! Does it matter? I'm tired of this. Everyone wants to hurt me or use me, and it stops now. Where were you when my parents tested me? Where were you when I needed you most? You left me. Why are you even here? Do you want something from me too? I'm... I'm sorry. After my parents left, I felt so alone. I couldn't find you. People kept coming. They'd attack, hound me, want me to show them what I can do, like I was a circus animal or some kind of pet. I shouldn't take it out on you. No, it's not your fault. Thanks to you, these bastards didn't get very far. They could have destroyed everything. It's getting late. We need to clean up before my parents return. Meet me at the manor later. Come. I must speak with you once more. In her tale, Aronias was volatile, and she swung between anger, shame, and hope. Feared by her own parents because of her abilities, she faced the bandits alone. This made her bitter and hardened against others, vulnerable to outside influences. You will soon see it for yourself. But first, you should view another scene from Aranias's past. She was a bit younger and excited about her newly found skills. Are you ready? Of course not. For her, it hasn't happened yet. Remember, I put you into her past to help her when she's at her most vulnerable. She lashed out at you just now because she can't fight against her parents. She trusts you. That's what's important. Why are your 
clothes all wet? Mother, what do you think of this tree? How about this island you're standing on? The ground is soaked. I'll need new shoes now. I made it. What? You made the ground soggy? The island. I made this little island. What? Ara, what do you mean you made it? These trees, those rocks, none of this was here yesterday. The ground is wet because I used my magic to pull it up from under the water. Oh, Ara, what have you done? Gifted with a rare and powerful ability, Aranias tried in vain to win her parents' affection. So much happened next, but I especially draw your attention to two particular events. One scene is atop the lighthouse, the other in the manor's great hall. They will help you understand more about our troubled Altmer, I hope. No. The greatest challenge comes next, and Aranias needs you. Her parents returned after the attack on the farm, and brought with them the people they considered their daughter's only hope, the Veiled Heritants. She should not face this alone. Getting changed at the manor. You should do the same after you watch those scenes. You'll find a change of clothes in the guest bedroom off the Great Hall. Then, go to Aranias in the garden. ships will you sink it was an accident accidents are spilling water dropping glass you lifted a ship out of the ocean with a wall of rock I didn't mean to I'm sorry your mother and I will discuss your punishment go And I leave for Somerset in the morning. I won't do it again, I promise. I'll try harder. 
Don't leave me behind! Don't grovel. It's unbecoming. We will return with help to control your temper. How much more can I apologize? I said I'm sorry! No, Para. It's just... you need training. What you did to the ship, that scares people. What sort of training, Father? You look good. How do you feel? There are so many people. And look, it's High Kin Lady Estri. Why is she here? I bet my parents want me to show off my powers. I thought they were bringing me a teacher or something. Hesitant? I hate this, and they've got something particular they want to see. Would you do me a favor and find out? Mingle among them, eavesdrop. Find out what they've planned for me. I'm not sure yet. They'll probably want another statue raised from the ground. My parents treat that like a party trick, and this is a party after all. But the way they're talking, it sounds more dangerous, and I'm a bit worried, to be honest. You asked me this before, silly. I don't know, but when I think about changing things around me, my thoughts come true. Remember when that merchant ship sank? I'd lifted the ground out of the ocean. I just forgot to lower it again. Under demonstrates amazing potential. Why are we bothering with this girl and her clods of dirt? Under could melt them with hardly a thought. What do they call her? The Rock Witch? Hilarious. <laughs> Provincial. Ander has one of the little beggars in the field, away from the house. Aranias will demonstrate her talents on the other. Her demonstration will determine how we employ her talents. I'm afraid this one is about to die. I didn't realize how frail Bosma were. Not this goblin-faced meat-eater, his wife. Wait a minute. You're not with the Heritance. They... 
They took my wife. They will give her to the witch, the rock witch. The land will kill her. They said the land... Hmm. You killed Anda. That's not supposed to happen. Oh, don't worry. It was an entertaining twist, to be sure. But sadly, as real as it may seem, this is just a story. In real life, you were not there to kill Anda. He has had considerable time to grow in power, and his temper has not gotten any longer, if you understand me. It seems the Veiled Heritants have sent him after Aranias to ensure she kills the Wilder King, or dies if she fails. I met him. He wanted to get into this story, but he wouldn't ask nicely. But there's nothing we can do about that right now. We have a story to finish. Aranias's big moment is about to arrive. You should go to her. In the garden. She's been commanded to kill the wife of this Bosma. You should hurry to her. She faced this alone last time. is no different from those who burned your farm. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Aranias, my child, raise the ground up to trap this animal. Please let us go. Aranias, do you remember how helpless you were when your farm burned? Good, good. Now, tear this animal apart. What is to become of me? This is my test. If I can take the life of this girl, it means that I am willing to make the necessary sacrifices. What about the Bosma who attacked my island? What were they, Dominion ambassadors? A peace mission? If I refuse to kill this Bosma, then what? I'll be alone again. The Rock Witch of Silatar, a monster for fairy tales. You're here with me now, but what about later? No, no, that's not it. I must trust myself. Believe I can do what's right. I don't need anyone, you or the Veiled Heritance, to guide me. I am stronger than this. I won't murder an innocent to prove I can, no matter who demands it. The Veiled Heritance won't control my destiny. I will. I can do this, and I shall. No, I won't do it! You were a fine character, most enjoyable, and it looks like you made quite an impression on Aranias. As one story ends, another reaches its climax. Our little bit of mischief was a success. Because of you, Aranias may very well betray her masters to defend the Wilder King. Truly, I hope we never need change a story so extensively again. Though we spinners can do so, it's usually better to let a tale conclude on its own. Usually. Venturing into the story of Aranias' past has sown the seeds of her transformation, but they have yet to sprout. Even now, she and Anda blaze a trail of destruction toward the Wilder King's throne. Their intention is to destroy him. Preserving his life may be impossible at this point, but you must try. 
Without him, the Valenwood will rage out of control. The only hope lies with Aranias and with you. Go to Greenheart and follow the trail of fire to the Wilder King's throne. <laughs>